What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com and make a purchase. Next time you guys also want to make a purchase, use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. Also on the same website, if you ever want to sell your coins, you click on the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And by the time I'm dropping this video, EA have decided to drop a Lauren Blanc SPC. So we're gonna go ahead and review his loan. We're looking at a car that's 88 rated, 64 on the height, medium high work rates, two star skill moves, three star weak, but acceleration type is mostly lengthy. 78 pace, 67 shooting, 68 passing, 76 dribbling, 90 defending, 85 physicality as well for the physical. He has aerial, he got bruiser, and he got anticipate on gold, which is a very good defending trade this year. Now, I went on flipping. I saw the most common cam style for the car was the shadow chemistry style, and it makes sense because with the shadow, it keeps him on lengthy, but you put everything in the defending category up to the high 90s, which is absolutely amazing. You want to boost up that pace because 76 acceleration, 80 sprint speed is decent, but you got to put up to the 80s because we're going against top tier tigers like Mbappe, yeah, I mean, those type of cards, Rasher, and they're really quick. So we want to see if Blanc's pace is a liability. Physicality at 84 strength and 86 aggression is very good with him being 6'4". Blanc is going to be playing with this team right here in in-game. We're going to be playing in a 4-3-2-1. He's going to be playing as a right center back. Right next to that other middle town. Now, personally for me, Blanc is good every single year in FIFA for the first, like... Three to four months, I should say, and then he gets outdated fairly easily. But this year, I want to see if Blanc suits the meta because tall CBs are pretty nice. You know, Van Dyke is very, very good, and all those other CBs like Rudiger. So we want to see where Blanc ranks among those CBs. If he's a top 10 CB, is he potentially a top 5 CB? My main thing that I love about him is that he's 6'4", so he kind of gives me VVD vibes. But with that being said, we're going to play some games in Division Rivals. And see if the SBC is worth it. All right, here we go with our first game versus Klika Space FC. Let's see the type of team he got. It's a decent back line, a decent midfield. Actually, no, that's actually a pretty good team. I fuck with the team. It's pretty meta. Is Blanc going to catch up to Rodrigo? And he actually does. That is some very good stuff right there. I thought we were going to get outpaced. The tackle last second from Blanc. Let's go. His test out is turning. I want to see how he feels on the ball this year. I'm being 6'4", so it's a little bit slow. It's better than players like Van Dyke. I'll say that right now. The dribbling aspect. Nice. Good physicality right there from Blanc. Good defense right there. Good stuff. He's just going to run in a straight line with Howland, and we easily clamp him up. Let's go. Nice step. Great step right there. Good <laughs> recovery right there as well. Keeps onto the ball. Oh, Blanc versus Holland, and Blanc is there just in time. All right, so we got a pen in the 75th minute. If I'm not mistaken, Blanc actually has really good pens from the past FIFA, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. We're going to go top left. Hopefully, we don't miss. And he managed to put in the back end there, so we move. Blanc being 6-4 is one of the things I love about that, man. Clutch tackle. Nice shot, bodies, Di Natale right there. Oh, we're a little bit fucked, but never mind. He got the interception. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. Good tackle once again from Blanc. Excuse me, nice and clean on not committing a foul right there. Gonna wide ball this. Yeah, it's easily interception for Lauren. 
Good step right there from Blanc. Nice tackle once again from the card. Holy. I think that pass out the back. Good job. What a step. What a step, man. Him being 6'4 keeps onto the ball as well. Good stuff. All right, guys, and that concludes the player review for 88 rated icon Laurent Blanc. Coming out, 408,000 coins on the market, 479,000 coins on the PC. I don't know exactly how much is the SPC, but I'm assuming it's around the same price on the market. I heard it was six segments. We played three games with this card. He had three wins and one goal from the penalty spot. So, you know, he did his stuff. Uh, Blanc is back, you know, same things you're expecting from Blanc. He's very very good in the physical aspect that's the best thing about him you know it's very tough to get past him he's literally like a truck in the back and not in a bad way you know because his turning is actually better than i expected with the 69 agility 68 balance 85 ball control you know he doesn't feel clean like an eder Militao, obviously but he feels pretty good for somebody at 64 probably the best um defender that i've used that's over the height of 61 dribbling wise and that says a lot Defending wise, his positioning was A1, you know, very good defensive awareness. It's also, with the medium high work rates, it helps out a lot for those of you guys that believe in work rates. But he was intercepting the ball very nicely. Stand tackling was pretty good. Defensively, he's rock solid. One of the better CBs I've used in EFC24. Passing was also pretty good. 79 short pass for those of you guys that care about passing out the back. We did a couple of long passes across the pitch. No problem in that whatsoever. Now, pace is the main thing that we were going into today's video, and I wanted to see if that was an issue. Um, for the most part, it's not a con, but it's not a pro. For me, it's somewhere in the mixed category. Yes, the shadow chemistry style does help out the pace a lot, but I feel like there were a couple instances where we got Y-balled fairly way too easily. But obviously, Blanc with his body type and 76-80, which is pretty decent at this stage of the game just be aware if you do complete this spc he's not going to be super quick on tracking back those y balls so just make sure if his positioning is great which it will be the majority of the time and if you don't mess up on manually selecting blank too early then you should be good when it comes to the y balls aside from that aspect this is a really elite cb one of the better spcs that ea have dropped so i would not be against you guys dropping coins on this spc or completing him to put him on your team because he at least is going to last you until team of the year we're in the month of october team of the year comes in january so fairly around three to four months i think this as this card i should say will be fairly meta to you guys so he's gonna get a thumbs up for me and rating wise for the card he's gonna get 8.5 out of 10 i thought he was very very solid i don't think he's better than the likes of like lucio Van Dyke and those type of cards. I even think Rudiger and Militao are better, but he's definitely a top 10 CB in the game as of right now, 1000%. You guys let me know what you guys think about Blanc. Will you guys be completing this SPC or not? That concludes the review for this card. Thank you guys so much for the support. The next video I'm going to be dropping is going to be a Bobby Charlton review. That card looks absolutely insane. I'm hearing a lot of talk that he's better than Eusebio this year, which is crazy talk, but we're going to have to see the vibes. Till next time. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.